sometimes um, we don't know how many times we need a loop to repeat. We just want it to repeat or to repeat some code until the user does something that we allow. We allow, like type in a number between one and ten, or type in two passwords that match, and so on. So, what we use then? We don't use a for loop. We use a different type of loop called a while loop. So, I'm going to type my while loop here, and I'm going to have a while loop that keeps running while the user and while the user doesn't enter a number less than ten. So I need a variable. So I'll call it num1. And it's going to be an integer. And then I'm going to ask the user to enter it. So please enter a number. In fact, I'll just get rid of that for a moment because that's a bit confusing. Please enter a number and I'm going to set, I'm going to give them one the value of whatever the user types in. So console read. Okay. Um, and then thank you again. Now, what I've got to do now is figure out which parts of this code I want to keep repeating whilst they don't enter a number less than 10. And for me, it's asking them to enter a number and um, saving their input. So just before that, I'm going to type while, and then I'm checking the num1 variable. While well, num1 is greater than 10, then at the bottom here, underneath the code I want to repeat, I want to put the end of the loop, which is end while. There we go, and we'll tap that hint to be sure it's inside the loop. Now, there's a problem with this because this loop is checking the one to see if it's less than, if it's greater than 10 to see if it needs to run this code here. In order to start this loop running, we need to give num1 a value at the top here that will cause the loop to run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give num1 a value of 11. That means that num1 is greater than 10, so this condition is true and therefore the loop will start to run. If I didn't do that, in fact what I'll do is I, I can just do this with a line of code, I can comment it out. So I press apostrophe, it makes it a comment and the computer ignores it. But if I start now, I'm pretty sure I'll just get the line of thank you because the computer will ignore my loop. Yes. Because the condition to start off with number one is greater than ten isn't true. Here, if I take away the comment and make that part of the code again, the computer will read that line, set number one to eleven, and therefore we should go into the loop. There we go. Please enter a number now. Because this is a while loop, it will end. It will happen. Keep happening as many times as it needs to. If I keep entering numbers bigger than ten. And keep going and keep going and keep going. It doesn't actually stop until I meet that condition. So, nine. Thank you. So, just when, when we don't know how many times we want a loop to run, we use something like a while loops because when we can set a condition, it keeps getting checked every time to see if the loop needs to run 